Tutorial 7, Part 3, Non-Steady State Diffusion and Fixed Second Law. Non-Steady State Diffusion is defined as diffusion with a time-varying concentration gradient. And this type of diffusion can be represented by the Fixed Second Law, which is shown here. Anyway, I see that this equation involves a time-dependent term and a distance-dependent term, and which is a partial differential equation. One very useful solution to this PDE is the case for semi-infinite solid, which we will teach in the following slides. And obviously, we are not our best math course, and we we don't care about how this equation is solved. So if you want to know more about it, you will, we will need to first take about take math two three five zero or two three five one or two three five two, or and then you can take the math four zero five two, which is the partial differential equation, the math the math version of partial differential equation. Diffusion in semi-infinite solid, which is the most useful solution of the partial differential equation I have just mentioned. The diffusion in semi-infinite solid is defined as here, is described as this equation. Cx minus C log. Cx is the concentration at point X minus C log. C dot is initial concentration of species at time equal to zero, which is the initial initial time. Cx, let's say I would like to set x at here, then Cx is the concentration here. Cs is the surface concentration or the concentration of species at x equal to zero, which is here, at the boundary position. The boundary condition for this equation is for time equal to zero, c is equal to c lot at any point in the solid. That means initially the solid within the solid, the concentration of atoms is the same throughout the solid. For t larger or equal to larger than zero, c is equal to cs at x equal to zero. That means at the boundary part, at the boundary position, the surface concentration is kept at cs. Third, for t is larger than zero, c is equal to the initial concentration, which is c naught, at infinity position x is equal to infinity. ERF is equal to the error function, and I will introduce it in the next slide. ERF something is error function, and in this course, we use tables to get the values. And either if set or ERF set is in between values of two entries in the table. We use interpolations to find the value we want. For example, if set is equal to 0 0.07, 0 0.07, what is the error function value for set equal to 0 0.07? 0 0.07? ERF set is equal to set minus set log over 71 minus 7 log and times the difference between ERF set 1 minus ERF set log plus ERF set log. Just putting the value for 0 0.07, 0 .07, we got the following values. ERF set 1 and ERF set log can be found from the table here. Set 1 is defined as the set entry just bigger than the set we want to find 
and set log is defined as the set increase, just smaller than the set we want to find. Then we get the following equations and calculate it, we get the values, which is equal to this value. What if ERF set is given and we want to find the set and the ERF set is not specified in the entry here? For example, ERF set is equal to 0 for 0 8. We can also use, and we should also use interpolation, which is shown here. Set is then equal to ERF set minus ERF set log over ERF set 1 minus ERF set log times the difference between set 1 and set log plus set log. And as you may guess, ERF set 1 is the value just bigger than ERF set and with an entry in the table. And the ERF set log is the ERF set value just bigger, just more than 0 0.08 have, have, and have an entry in the ERF table. Just put in the value then and find the respective value in the ERF table and we get the import probation values for the set for the required ERF set value, which is 0 0.08. Let's have an example which I borrowed from the book, which is in non steady state condition and it is a diffusion in semi infinite solid. And we know that the diffusion is non steady state. We can know that one surface is maintained at a constant concentration and the other side it does not specify, and that means um, there is no constant concentration gradient and D at 675 degrees Celsius is given equal to this value shown here C log is zero as it is pure iron C log is the initial concentration throughout the, the piece of iron CS the concentration at surface at the boundary is equal to 0 0.2 weight percent of nitrogen and it is maintained at a constant concentration throughout the process x is equal to 0 0.002 meter as he wants to find the concentration 2 millimeter from the surface time is 25 hours as we want to find what is the concentration 2 mm from the surface after 25 hours Convert the 25 hours to seconds, we got 90,000 seconds. Using the equation given, first we find the error function value. 0 0.02 put in the value, 2 times square root d, d is the diffusion constant or diffusivity, t is the time, and we get ERF equal to this value. We find that Z is equal to 0 0.765. Using the error function table, we find that the set value specified is not shown. Then we must use interpolation. Using the interpolation formula, here we find that ERF 0 0.765 is equal to 0 0.72024. Putting the value again, we find that CX is equal to 0 0.0559 weight percent. Be careful about the unit, as the given concentration is in weight percent, therefore the final answer must be in terms of weight percent also.